Hey guys! Welcome back to another video on Design Revit BIM. Today we will create a beam family with a nested profile family just similar to this outline which I extracted from AutoCAD. On this website, you can see that this is the type of family we are going to need for our project. Alright. So I have opened a new metric profile family template. I am going to import the same AutoCAD file and place it somewhere around the center or origin. Now I would place the outline just as I want my beam family when I load it back in the project. So here I have an I beam as well as double T beam outline in the same AutoCAD drawing. I have already created the family for I beam just in case you are wondering about that. Great! Now I have to create the skeleton for our profile family. I can click on the existing reference plane and press CS to create similar type of element. Since we can see we have this family symmetric along the central vertical axis, we can use the EQ option to extend the profile equally along both the sides. Note that we don't have any symmetry along the horizontal plane. Okay. Now we are going to create the required parameters from these dimensions using the create parameter option. I think I had created few of the parameters already. So I am just going to specify them accordingly as you guys are able to see here. You can always open the Family Types dialog box and create new parameter from there. So now after we are done creating labels for each of our dimensions, we will continue creating the reference planes which will help us to control the geometry of our element which in this case is the profile of our beam family. I will also show you how we nest this profile in the beam family so stay tuned to learn that. Try to keep the working area clean and avoid any overlapping of elements. I will also recommend to complete the creation of new family in a single sitting, because next time when you will open the family you won't remember exactly what process you were following to create it. Haha. <laughs> When adding the dimension, make sure that the witness line is taken from the reference plane and not any line of AutoCAD drawing. Use short keys whenever you can. You can see how easier it is to mirror these elements on the other side rather than creating those again.
We can always update the names of existing parameters from the family type dialog box. Select the parameter, click on edit parameter. Looks like we are done creating all the required parameters. So let us add the actual profile lines and lock it with the reference planes. I just realized that we are missing one more parameter here, so I am going to add it first. Now let's continue to create the profile. Note, when giving the start or end point, we must pick the vertex or intersection of reference planes. Because the parameters will only function to change the position of reference planes and since our profile lines are locked with the reference plane, modifying the parameters will automatically modify the profile. I am using the tab key to select all the profile lines. Press HI to isolate it. Now we are going to flex each and every parameter to make sure they are working correctly. Keep your eye on the right side profile when I click on apply after updating the parameter values. Great! None of the updates broke the family that means our reference planes are not over constrained and the profile family is working perfectly fine. Now I want to match the parameter values according to the desired characteristics of the family which we need in our project. Since I have taken this sketch of AutoCAD drawing from the design drawing, I am just going to match it with that.
If you have reached up to this point that means most part of this task is already done. Save the family file at your desired location. Now we have to nest our profile family in the structural framing family. Before that I have to load the profile in this family. This is the iBeam family which is created using Sweep. So what I can do is simply specify the new profile in the Sweep to update this beam. See how cool it is. Wow! Expand the profile family from the project browser and then right-click on type properties of the family type. Now we have to associate the parameters of our profile family to the structural framing family. I am taking a screenshot to remember the names as well as values of the parameters which we require. Delete if there are existing parameters which were associated with the iBeam profile in my case. Start creating all the new parameters. The names of parameters in the structural framing family can have different names. But we must know or understand which parameter of profile family should get associated with which parameter of beam family. Fast forward if you understand this step already. Thank you. 
After creating all the required parameters, open the type properties of profile family again. Click on this option to make the association of parameters. Ooh. By mistake I have grouped my parameters in other. Let me just quickly move them back under dimensions. Fast forward if you understand this step already. Adjust the order of parameters that suits your use case. Again, we must flex all the parameters to check if the element is updating correctly without any issues. I will undo these changes to reach back to my original values. That's it. We have finally understood the process. Now let's just save this file at the desired location. I am using save as option to make a copy since I was working in the iBeam family. Good work guys. So proud of you. If there is any part that you want me to explain separately, just comment down below. See you in the next one.